Welcome everybody. My name is Captain Todd Venema, Third Coast Charters. This is our TX44 tournament series. It's primarily designed for salmon and musky fishermen. On the tournament series, you get the quick release clip, which makes it really nice for storing. You get the upgraded lock jaw system. So you don't have any issues with slipping. That works on braid, everything you're gonna ever run on it. And it also comes with an upgraded stainless steel pin on the back. Another key feature on our TX44 boards is they're universal. When you buy these tournament series boards, they're port or starboard. So depending on how you set the clip on there, you don't have to specify if you want a port or a starboard. You simply flip the clip over, flip the board over, put the pin in the other side, and then you take these uh, two screws out of the bottom, move your weights to the other side, and then your port board turned into a starboard board. Starting last season, I just started running these TX44s on all my long lines. They just plane out a lot nicer. They stay in line. They're really easy to read when you're running all the same boards on each side. So whether I'm running a 100 copper or a four color, a lead, or whether I'm running, you know, a 450 copper, I tend to stick with the larger boards. One tip I have for you guys on these TX44s, when, and really all planer boards in general, when you guys are looking to clear your rods, you know, let's say you're running four boards out your port side and four boards out your starboard side, and you're furthest away from the boat, board goes back with a fish on it. How do you get that board cleared from all the rest of your lines? If that board went back on the port side, I'll grab the rod out of the rod holder and I will bring it to the starboard side, the opposite side of the boat, and I will put that rod tip right down in the water and wait a couple of seconds for that, that board to drop back. As soon as you put that rod tip in the water, that board's gonna fall back out of line and go to work its way to the center of the boat and then I start reeling and I just keep that, keep that rod tip pointed in the opposite direction and that'll keep you from any tangles or mishaps that you might have. 